to make our drinking water. You have somebody come around every hour and check on it, make sure we have enough water for the crew. And we provide hot water to the whole ship for showering and cooking and all that. Okay, so my first name is Victor, last name Rocha. I'm a GSE. I am currently the LPO for EM04, which is the gas turbine electrical. My main role here is to make sure that whatever the bridge calls, that we're able to provide propulsion for that, no matter what. So I was originally born in Granada, uh, Nicaragua, and then I came to the United States uh, at, in 99, and I lived in Pennsylvania. So it's actually, I was an undergrad <laughs> at Penn State, and then uh, when I showed up here, it was, it's nothing what you expect. So I'm a, I'm a gas turbine technician electrical. Uh, what that means is I work with uh, jet engines that uh, produce uh, power and propulsion. I oversee a work center of eight people, and what we're in charge of is making sure that these engines produce uh, propulsion and electricity for the ship. The first time you go into an engineering uh, space, you're kind of in awe because you just don't realize how big an engineering space is. You also don't realize how big the ship is. Like it kind of looks big from the outside, but then you realize how really big it is once you're inside and you're like this little significant about walking through the space. Um, it's loud, it's very loud. You know, you have propulsion machinery going on in there. You have all types of stuff going on in there. Everything that keeps the ship afloat and running is in there. So it's loud, it's hot. This is the heart of everything. Everything starts down here. So when we're getting ready to get on the way, down here is at the busy time. Everybody's trying to start systems, trying to start fuel, blue oil, and so on and so forth. So these engines put out for like 40,000 horsepower and can put a 505 foot end on uh, ship through their water at like 30 plus knots. So it's pretty incredible. It's incredible we only have four, and these four engines do a great job of doing it. The three generators that we own, that literally powers everything on the ship. It powers everything from our water pumps that give us drinking water to the radar. You know, everything is powered by us. We're, pre we're pretty much the ones that supply power to everybody. And then we turn that over to the electrician's mates who actually route the power where it needs to go. So we meet halfway with them. It's how, it's how we make our drinking water. You have somebody come around every hour and check on it, make sure we have enough water for the crew. We provide hot water to the whole ship for showering and cooking and all that. Back there, literally you can see the shaft going all the way back to the back end of the ship. And uh, you can tell, like, if, you know, even if you're not topside, you can kind of tell how fast we're going based on how fast the shaft is rotating. This is like one of the great things about doing what I do. You, uh, it's never a dull day. You always, you always got something new going on. It's weird because I've never worked anywhere where like you kind of are, you know, like you go from being in a professional setting to like in your pajamas just hanging out, like within 200 feet. You get accustomed to it. Yeah, it's small, it's uh... Just hop in there, you know, like literally. Bam, right on in, you know, and it's comfortable. That's the best thing about ship life. You get creative with tiny spaces. You figure out how to make it work. Other world GSEs. We all work in the same division, so we probably spent like 40, 80 hours a week together. So we do everything together. We like, we all sleep in the same berthing. We go to lunch together, we go to breakfast together. We work out together. It's good, you know, we have this good camaraderie. We all, we're always like, you know, of course we get mad at each other, just like you would with anybody, but it doesn't last very long. You know, you're gonna be with this guy this whole underway, this whole month. Like, you know, we get along great. You know, he's like a brother to me. and. Vice versa, you know, we all know each other's families and stuff. Like, you know, like you, you end up being real close. Like, even outside of work, we hang out together. He's thirsty. He's been working all day. <laughs> John, so, the best thing about being underway, everybody makes fun of each other. Yeah. Especially Tranko. Never. <laughs> never. <laughs> That's like, I never do that. Like, we all literally depend on the, if like, EM1 fails to do his job, then like, we don't have any lighting anywhere. No matter how much power we produce, you know? And so on and so forth. So like, we give each other a lot of crap, but you know, like, we all work literally shoulder on shoulder, so. It's kind of like a, you know, it's like your brother. You hate him, but you love him. In the middle of the ocean, we make our own water, we make our own power. It feels like a family. 
It's a good feeling. It's a good feeling to know you have so many people who have your back and vice versa. It's it's. Since I've been in, I've never met anyone who fails to give like more less than 100 percent. You know, like everybody's always willing to be up for the task. We all know uh, how important it is to rely on one another. Like if I fail, that person fails, and so it's a domino effect. You get the sense of pride of like you know not just serving your country, but like you know like being part of like a command that can uh, do all, all these missions and. You know, you, you see the fruits of your labor every day. Like, what you work and what you do literally comes to fruition all the time you walk around.